Hi guys, Erin here. Okay, so I'm just going to get down to business. You know how on Goodreads you can take that yearly challenge to see how many books you can read in those 365 days? Well, I know that it's not 365 days yet. It's still in the month of October. But um, I made a promise to myself to read at least 10 books, and I've read like 12, but right now I'm just going to talk about the first 11 that I've been reading so far. So... Not all the books were fantastic, not all the books were horrible, but it was just, like, all the range of in-between. So, the first book was The Innocent Mage by Karen Miller. The genre is fantasy, and the rating I would give it one star just because the climax happened on the last page, and I thought, that's it? What? Like, seriously. I thought that I would be so into books like this, but I finished the entire book, which is like 600 some odd pages, 630 pages or so. And I have the uh, sequel, but I don't think I'm going to be reading it because the first book was just so long to get through. And it was just like, okay, Prince Gar does this, Asher does that, everyone dies, what the hell? Like, that was just not my cup of tea. And I do not normally drink tea, I drink coffee. Next, I have The Court of Thorns and Roses' first novel. Um, I would, it's a fantasy novel, by the way. I would give it a five-star rating, and two of my new literary crushes are Resand, High Lord of the Night Court, and Cassian, the Illyrian Baby. I just, I absolutely loved the book. I hated Tamlin. I can't believe I liked Deontay at the beginning of the series, but she's such a total biatch. I mean... You f first think she's really cool, then you just think, okay, what's going on? Then you think, oh my god, I hate her. And with Tamlin, it's the same thing. So, like, oh my god, I just... I still can't get over it, and I've read this, like, in, in January or something. But it, that book was just so good, and I would highly recommend this to anyone who loves fantasy. So recommend it to your friends. Go to Barnes & Noble, because they have it, or they like, go on Amazon or something like that. They have it, too. But, oh my gosh, I love the Court of Thorns and Roses series. It is my favorite book ever. Um, the next book is A Court of Mist and Fury, also by Sarah J. Mass. It is another fantasy novel. It is the sequel to A Court of Thorns and Roses. I would definitely give this five stars. And my notes on the book, um, Extreme Face Sand which is not suitable for children, and wingspan is definitely important here. So if you don't understand that, you seriously need to read the series, because one, you're missing out on such a great series. Two, you'll finally understand all the assassins. And is that a reference to the Throne of Glass series? Maybe. Yes, no, I have no idea. I've just been reading like heck the entire year just because I absolutely love books. Um, the third book in the series is A Court of Wings and Ruin. This is also fantasy. I don't even think I need to say that the rest of the series is fantasy because everyone already knows it's fantasy. Um, I would definitely give this five stars. I would give this ten stars if there was, like, a more than five star rating. But I actually wrote down a personal fantasy cast for the characters in the series. I actually have notes here. For Feyre Archeron, I would want her to be portrayed as Natalie Dormer, who played Marjorie Tyrell in Game of Thrones. And for Usand, I'd want Ian Summerhalder, who is Damon Salvatore of The Vampire Diaries. For Tamlin, I want Chris Hemsworth as in Thor. In Thor. I would want more as Claire Holt, who played Rebecca Michelson in The Vampire Diaries. Cassie and I picture as Jason Momoa. Oh my god, be still my heart. He played Khal Drogo in Game of Thrones. For Asriel, I would want Matthew Daddario, who played Alec Lightwood in Shadowhunters. I have not seen that series yet. I'm finishing all the Mortal Instruments series before I re before I watch the movie. So I mean, watch the movie and see the TV show. So no spoilers, please. And then um, for the King of Highburn, I imagine Charles Dancer, who played Tywin Lannister of Game of Thrones. As you can tell, I like Game of Thrones, too. I'm reading the books now, too. So I'm super happy about that. Oh, my gosh. 
And then the final book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series is A Court of Frost and Starlight, which I thought was not the best in the series, but only because there's, like, no climax to the book. There's just, like, it's sort of like a personal narrative, except it's in Feyre and Resand and their friends' point of views. So I'm just thinking, okay, this is all right. This is not bad, but it's not... Court of Thorns and Roses is fantastic, because the first book, you can never go wrong with the first book, but the sequel was better. That's what I think, anyway. Um, I would give the rating three stars, and my notes on the subject, um, Snowball Fights, Painted Cabin, and More Wingspan, and you will seriously understand when you read the book, too. So, I would highly recommend this, too. Sorry for that pause just there, I am not good with editing videos. Um, anyway, the next book is Rocks Fall, Everyone Dies by Lindsay Rybar. Um, it's a supernatural novel, and I would probably give it two stars, maybe three, although it is sort of growing on me now as I reread it again. Um, notes, um, there are not many likable characters, and it ends with a cliffhanger, so to quote, Hi Mom, can I come in? And that happens after a major cliffhanger. I'm not telling that part because I want you to go read the book. But it's just like, okay, um, this person is stealing memories and feelings from other people. So he's getting ahead in the game. And then there's this other girl who's a bully. And then she sort of repents. And I get that she repents. But, like, it's just really confusing and sad. And then the whole mystery with the grandmother. That's just like, what the hell? I mean... This book is pretty short, you know? It's only, like, uh, how many pages is it? It's, like, 350 pages, but it's just, if you're, I don't know what to say about this. I mean, like, if you're confused at the beginning, you're probably going to be confused at the end. But if you put the pieces together like a puzzle, it might turn out a little better for you. But I'm still having questions about the book, so I'm wondering if there's ever going to be a sequel. So, Lindsay Rybar, if you're watching this, please make a sequel, because I would love to find out what actually happens. Anyway, the next book I've been reading is The Selection by Kira Cass. It is a romance novel, straight-up romance, which is the one thing that I do not read. Like, I will literally read everything else except for straight-up romance, and this is straight-up romance. The way I think of it, it's like, um... Sort of like uh, The Hunger Games, except with actual dresses. So I was just thinking to myself, okay, this is sort of interesting. I I don't know if I'm ever going to get used to this. And to be honest, I never did, but I have the two next books in the series. I don't know if I'm going to read them. Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. But um, with the selection, I would give it two stars. And I've, I know nothing about the series after the selection, so I'm really hoping that Celeste suffers because I hate her so much. But I don't know what's going to happen. Is she going to become the queen? Definitely not, because, well, America Singer has to become the queen. I already know that, but that's just, like, from knowing books that I've read in the past. Um, I don't really know, like, is the rest of the series all that great to be watching the rest of it? I don't know. Leave... The comments and opinions in the comments below. I realized what I just said. I've not had any coffee today, so forgive me for that. The next book I have for you is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, which is book one in the Mortal Instruments series. Um, it's a supernatural fantasy, urban fantasy, that sort of thing. I would give it four stars, and, I, and as I was reading it, I thought, okay, Clary is like this interesting, mundane, and as it turns out, no, she's actually a shadow hunter, so I, like, said that, I didn't say that in my other videos, so that was a little bit confusing, but please forgive me for that, because I'm still reading the series. I'm on book four right now, City of Fallen Angels, but anyway, let's get back to this. I would give this book five star, uh, four stars, and yeah, I already said that. Um, anyway, I was... I was actually wondering how long it would take for Clary and Jace to discover they're not siblings because the suspense was killing me, but now that I read halfway through the series, I finally get my wish that they find out that they're not siblings, so I'm not going to spoil anything more for you, but it is that good, so you should definitely read this series. Next book is City of Ashes, which is also urban fantasy. I would give this book five stars as well. 
And about shipping different couples, I ship Clary and Jace, I ship Alec and Ma Alec Lakewood and Magnus Bain, and I also ship Simon Lewis and Maya Roberts, even though he's a vampire and she's a werewolf. I totally love them as a couple, and I would love to see them get together. No spoilers if it actually happens, so don't comment below on that. Next book is City of Glass, which is another urban fantasy sort of thing. I would give this five stars. And in the way of notes, I loved how Raziel, or Raziel, I don't know how to pronounce his name, um, I loved how he came to Clary and asked her what, he want, what she wanted most in the whole world, and she was thinking to herself, okay, what do I want? World peace is good, but if world peace could have been achieved, angels would have done that before. So she just says Jace, and that just made my heart melt with love, because, oh my gosh, you can have anything in the world, and you choose someone you love. That's just so perfect. I absolutely loved it. Now I'm reading City of Fallen Angels, so no spoilers until then, okay? Promise me! So anyway, I would totally recommend the series. It is that good. It Cassandra Clare is just one of my favorite authors now. I totally love her. Not as much as I love Sarah J. Mass, but she's still a favorite author. The next book I do not have because I let my cousin borrow it just because she never read the series either, but the first book in the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins is an, the uh, 11th book I've read this year, so... <laughs> um, I just have like a lot to a lot to say about that, a lot to think about. But the genre is dystopian, sort of like a romance thing, but it's also adventure, a little bit of science fiction in there, so I don't really know what to say. But I would give the rating three stars, and I think, personally, I liked the movie Katniss better than the book Katniss, because Katniss seems a little less stoic, more emotional, and a bit more shallow in the books. Does anyone else feel that way? So I'm just, like, really confused, like, how does the, like... There are two different Katnesses. It's so confusing. Like, which one should we pay attention to more? Like, which one... I don't know. It's just so confusing to think about. Anyway, that's it for today. So like, subscribe, comment, do your thing, and have a good day, people!